Hello, for the season of Advent, I hope you are safe and well today. Uh, if you like on our Facebook page, please take a moment to be watching and for us to pray for you tonight. I'll be glad to the season of Advent. This is the third week of Advent. So, in our with these candles, you might have the um, Advent rate at home. And so the first, and we're reminded, uh, it's also this candle, and the first candle of Advent signifies the promise of the Messiah. And the and the Messiah would be the leader, the ruler, the mighty warrior, who would be who the Messiah was fulfilled, Jesus. On this calendar, the second, um, second candle, oh, I'm not good at this, I'm doing it. The second candle is the candle. The faith candle. And the faith candle is also as the Bethlehem candle. The candle of Advent signifies the journey to the city of David. At the Livonia Church, we love, reminding ourselves of the great love of God given to us in Christ Jesus, the Messiah. This lady lit the third candle, the joy candle, also known as the shepherd's candle. This candle of Advent signifies the joy of the coming Savior. And this is scripture from the Magnificat. My soul claims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. I just add a reef here at my home. And, and I really don't want to light these candles on light, but we have the purple, purple, and this this is pink. Some would say red candle. But we've lit this candle, the, the love and the joy candle. This week coming back to church, we'll light this candle, the peace candle. And on Christmas Eve, we'll light a candle, which is the Christ candle. And I hope you can join Christmas Eve. And on Christmas Eve, our worship service will be live. We'll also be live on the page, the Facebook page. So if you're unable to be a person, you can join us online. We have this candle. And on today, the scripture says, Jesus wants to be wait. Today, spend some time with him. Pray to stand before the Son of Man. So we have several of these left the church for Advent, Advent, and I'm sorry about that. Um, and with the network, so sorry. I have been sharing. It's where he. Poem Carl Sandberg titled Joy. Let's keep you reach out your hands and take a breath of life as if you had to go to someone. I see them live on the left out, sit on the same scene, smash the heart of the wrist. Let's love joy always, joy everywhere. Let's do it, keep you away from the yes. Joy, a poem by Carl Sandberg. And Bible has many verses of joy. And the Bible has many other verses of joy in the Psalms. So I'll let these guys just share with me. Psalm 16, 11. You may not be that life in the fullness of joy. And right hand, I'll let you try more. And Psalm 20, verse 45. May you grant your desire to fill our plans. May we shout for joy over salvation and thank all our God's partners. May the Lord fulfill all the conditions. For a moment. My soul to your right hand. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Joy. We will see it connected to God's work. Save Christian delivery. And that is what God has done for us at Christmas in Christ Jesus. We celebrate Christmas because the child born to the Virgin on the whole night in the land. Although born a child of the Son of God, fully not fully human, and actually God man, Jesus Christ lived a perfect life, a sinless life, and became a lamb of God that was slain for our sins in atonement. And God has brought the fullness of salvation through the life, death, and glorious resurrection of the Son, our Savior Jesus Christ. That is why we celebrate Christmas. I am. Thanks for everything. I thank God's saving work. God's grace, all mercy, and pardon, forgiveness. That we have a time to pray a prayer of confession now. So pray for this prayer of confession. Those who have not confessed have not been given to the Lord. We have to be in church. We have not done your will. We have broken your law. Offer to all people in Christ Jesus. Yes, the same word Jesus is a gift offered to all, all of us, are under this gift. But God's grace extends it to us. That is why it's grace. It's something we don't deserve. We deserve. Let's do this. We want to share some concerns and updates before we go to prayer. So I'm going to ask about outreach support for the business of the church forms in the city. And the reason I'm doing this, I encourage you if you move to Ross, you can give me a chance to make a gift to this outreach to this lady. Through the United States City Relief. You can give it to the Lord directly at usmission.org. Or you can bring a donation to our church. 
for having our I am asking for people to share hopes and And so, as we have these prayer concerns, to pray begin the prayer the most celestial image Happy, but many days. Bless our businesses with prosperity, good, safe. We pray for those who work. That leads life everlasting. Our Father, who art in heaven, I thank you for being with us this evening. I pray that you. Combined worship service. Elliot, 